Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will be battling the coronavirus pandemic without the aid of his current Surgeon General. Great, great idea. Surgeon General Scott Rifkes, the state's top medical official, is exiting Governor Ron DeSantis' administration in September, Florida Politics reported and WFLA-TV confirmed. Rifkes, whose time in government has been marked by his absence from public view throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, will exit the administration with, when his contract expires September 20th. The news comes as Florida continues trudging through the pandemic with peak cases and hospitalizations on account of the Delta variant. Following the news breaking, DeSantis's press secretary, Christina Pusha, issued a statement, quote, we thank Dr. Rivkeys for his meaningful work during the most challenging pandemic of our lifetime. We appreciate his service to the people of Florida and wish him the best in his future endeavors. Well, if that isn't the nicest way of saying don't let the door kick you in the ass on your way out, then I don't know what is. Poor guy, have we just listened to him? Anna Ceballos, a state government reporter for the Miami Herald, remembered one of the last times that Dr. Rivkeys was seen with DeSantis. To quote Rivkeys just before he was quickly whisked away by the governor's spokeswoman, Floridians will be keeping their distance and wearing face masks for up to a year until COVID-19 vaccine exists. The Tampa Bay Times reported in April of 2020. Quote, the Surgeon General's comments appear to conflict with what Governor Ron DeSantis and his political ally, President Donald Trump, have said about returning to pre-coronavirus life. End quote. In other DeSantis drama, Today, the conservative group The Lincoln Project put out a new ad targeting Governor Ronald McDonald DeSantis for presiding over the worst COVID-19 explosion of any state. The ad, titled Pro-Life, particularly focused on the children being sickened by the pandemic with images of an empty school superimposed with the normal sounds of children attending class. Talk about drama. Quote, Florida leads the nation in kids hospitalized for COVID. The ad displayed as a headline from the Tampa Bay Times. Quote, Central Florida children increasingly being hospitalized for COVID-19, some were eligible for vaccination. The ad displayed as a headline from the Orlando Sentinel. Quote, gut-wrenching children making up more of Jacksonville's surge of COVID hospitalizations. The ad displayed as a headline from the Florida Times Union. Quote, Florida's Children's Hospital see pediatric COVID cases soar amid Delta variant surge. The ad closed out with a clip of DeSantis at the Conservative Political Action Conference boasting, quote, Florida got it right and the lockdown states got it wrong, end quote. Not quite right, actually. Perhaps had we paid a little bit more of attention to Surgeon General Rivkeys, who, according to FLGov.com, is an internationally renowned expert on developmental biology and pediatric endocrinology, maybe we wouldn't be having to worry so much about the numerous cases of children that this variant has affected. That's all for your Raw Report for today. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out rawstory.com. If you want to see more of the Raw Report, be sure to like and subscribe below and join others who like their news given to them raw too.